okay now that we have learned how to uh, you know use sum if with absolute and relative references on the same sheet we will move to our bonus report and extract the same results by using the sum if formula but on the other sheet that means there should be a combination of this sheet references with this sheet references so what I'll do is just start uh, as you can notice that we have the same kind of data and I've already extracted the salespersons so uh, what I will do is apply sum if equals to sum if and the range the range is where's the list of salesperson in the original data set so we will go in sales report and you can notice that it's showing that now whatever we will pick in this data is coming from sales report sheet tab so I will select this so this uh, means that sales report sheet tab B column if you want to move between the sheet tabs to apply you know some criteria from other sheet and the data from this sheet you have to think in mind for example if I move to bonus report notice that the sheet references has changed so that doesn't mean that uh, it's picking B column in the sales report rather it's picking B column from the bonus report which is completely wrong so if I want to fix this whenever you want to change the sheet reference you need to put a comma sign before you move to other sheet and then I can move to bonus report and th there you have it now it's it will pick whatever you mentioned from bonus report sheet so I will pick this and now I have to move to sales report to select my sum range so I will hit comma and then I will go in sales report and select what yes number of units sold is our first criteria so if you want to fix uh, the references now as we did before you can also do that but first press enter to save that formula before moving to any other sheet reference now I will double click and fix the ranges as we have seen before this is the range of salesperson so it should be fixed all F4 and this should not change in columns but in rows so I will hit F one time I will hit F4 second time and F4 third time now this is just perfect the column will not change and the row will move because there's no dollar sign with it so the sum range is just fine and we don't need to fix this enter and then we can drag it towards right and then we can double click to send double click to send it down now that's amazing isn't it